Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna talk about trends. In a bullish trend, we wanna see price make higher highs and higher lows. When we make those higher highs, we run into resistance. Price pulls back, finds support, makes a higher low, and then hopefully continues up. In a bearish trend, we want to see lower lows and lower highs. Price moves down to those lower lows, finds supports, rally back up to those lower highs, find resistance and moves right back down. Now today we are gonna to look at identifying these trends and where the support and resistance levels are. Next week, we are gonna look at what candles you should use and not use to get into these trends. Now let's dive in. Let's take a look at a bullish and a bearish trend and see if we can find some support and resistance levels within. So we can see we have a strong sell-off. We make a lower low. This lower low ends up turning into a higher high. That is your first signal price is moving up, either short or long term. We get a higher low. This is our confirmation. And then we go to look for a confirmation signal. Now, next week we will dive into this a little bit more, but just notice we have one, two, three. So we have a three point rejection as price moves up. We make a higher high, come back down, make a higher low. The trend is still up, but this should be your first signal, this lower high, that we could see a rejection of higher prices. So this would be a resistance level. We come down, make a lower low, and our confirmation that the trend is going to start moving back down is this lower high right here. This is actually a two candle reversal and price sells off right afterwards. So we can label the rest of this. This would be a, another lower high. We make a, another lower low and price moves right back down. Now notice how we have a little bit of a transition in here. Price finds a double bottom or these would both be lower lows. But remember, lower lows are support in a bearish trend and lower highs are resistance. So we are stuck in a small range right here. Price finds support, we move up. And notice how this higher low turns into support. This was a resistance level right in here, and now we're finding support. Bulls like to turn resistance into support. That is the definition of a bullish trend. Price is moving up, resistance turns into support. Now let's take a look at a more defined bullish trend. This right here would actually be a bearish trend. Notice how price is moving down, but it is very volatile as price spikes up and down. Notice how your EMA is relatively flat, and when you see markets like this, it is advised that you don't take any trades. So let's take a look at this. Price opens up, and it actually makes a lower low. But notice how this lower low turns into a higher high. Once we have our higher high, that is signal number one, that price could continue to move up. Now we make a higher low, and notice where we find support in this higher low, right around this resistance level in here. Price moves up, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So let's label some of these to get a better perspective. Higher high, higher high, higher high, and higher high. Now let's label some higher lows. And remember, our higher lows act as support. So notice right here, we get a higher low, moves up. We get another higher low relatively close to this previous higher low. And that's okay, we just wanna see this level defended. And we'll move up here, and there we go. So price moves up. Notice how our EMA is pointing up, signifying a nice, strong trend. And again, we would look for signals or confirmation signals right around these higher lows. Right here, we have this nice bullish engulfing. Here we have a three point turn, and then price moves up, up, and up. Now that is the definition of a bullish and bearish trend. Things to keep in mind. In a bearish trend, we want to sell off of resistance. In a bullish trend, we want to buy off of support never buy these higher highs, and never sell these lower lows. And when your EMAs get flat, it is advised that you don't take any trades and wait it out until price starts trending again. As always, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments down below, and we are always here to help. Next week, we're gonna talk about entering into these trades and looking at confirmation candles. Best of luck.